to summarize the router requirements for the campus. For the core router, campus administrators need to focus on scalability and sufficient CPU to ensure that current and immediate future needs are met. Now we realize that this is a bit of trying to guess what's coming in the future, but as your campus network infrastructure improves, as you make a lot of the improvements that have been covered in this campus network design and operation series, you will find, as I mentioned earlier, that user experience will improve, they will do more, they will try and do bigger things and better things, so the growth of the requirements in the core will be quite significant. Expect to double the needs of the campus core maybe every year um, or even quicker than that. A layer 3 switch is often sufficient as the routing needs in the campus core are not very onerous. You need to focus on a good Ethernet switch that has sufficient layer 3 capabilities as we've covered in this session. As for the border router, physical size is unimportant. But try and make sure that it's small. You need to focus on big CPU to be able to handle these border functions that we've talked about before. Your border router doesn't need many interfaces. It just needs the interfaces to connect to the core router and the interfaces to connect to the upstream providers. And it probably pays to consider future BGP needs. You may be simply statically connected to your upstream provider right now, but in future you may sign up with a second provider or you have redundant links to your existing provider and to support those you need to be able to use BGP. So think about those needs in future for your border router. And of course for the CPU function dealing with the denial of service attacks, we discuss how to do some of this elsewhere on the learn.nsrc.org video website.